The very first messianic prophecy in the Old Testament is Genesis 3.15, and it reads, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Here we see that there will be a human that will come from the woman, and he will be the one to defeat the snake, who is the representation of evil and sin, and restore humanity to where it was originally intended. Jews and Christians, for the most part, can agree that this is the idea of the Messiah. However, the strong separation is Christians holding the belief that this Messiah will also be God in the flesh. But there's an indication in Genesis that Eve also believed this seed would be God manifested in the flesh. And if Moses is the author of Genesis, so did he. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 reads, Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. This verse is telling us that Eve is proclaiming that she has given birth to a man, and the Lord has provided her with this. Now I want to focus on the four words with the help of. These four words are being translated by one Hebrew word. That word is eighth, and it is a direct object marker, and it does not translate to any word in English. The grammar of Hebrew and English is different. This word eighth is intended to identify a noun being affected by the verb. When we look at the interlinear of Genesis 4.1, this word eighth appears three times. First two times, we see that this word is not translated to anything in English. The third time, it's translated to from or in other translations like in the ESV, we see with the help of. Now staying consistent with the word eighth not translating to any word, let's read the verse without the word eighth. And let's also replace the Lord with the divine name, Yahweh, because that's what it shows in the Hebrew. And here's how it reads. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man, Yahweh. Taking this translation to the roots of these words, what does this mean? This means that Eve thought she gave birth to a man, which was Yahweh incarnated. Now why would she believe this? Well, could it be Genesis 3.15? Is her understanding like Christians that the Messiah will be God incarnated in the flesh as a man? She was incorrect about giving birth to the Messiah, but was she incorrect on the rest? interesting. But let's look a little deeper. Christians will make a strong argument in the Old Testament that Jesus Christ pre-incarnated was the angel of the Lord. In Exodus chapter 3 verses 2 through 4, we see the angel of the Lord is in the burning bush, but he is also Yahweh. We also see in Exodus chapter 23 verses 20 to 21 that the angel of the Lord possesses the divine name, which is the nature and authority of Yahweh. Genesis 22:12. we also see God stop Abraham from sacrificing Isaac. However, it was actually the angel of the Lord stopping him. Plus many more verses that would indicate that God is one in nature, but has a multiplicity of persons. Now, what does this have to do with Eve giving birth to a man? Let's look at some Jewish sources as to what it says about Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. The Targums are a Jewish source which is the Tanakh translated into Aramaic due to Jews speaking Aramaic more and more during the time of and before Jesus Christ. The importance of this source is not only because these translations predate Jesus Christ, but this translation is not a word-for-word -word translation. They make a translation into a paraphrase, which means they are translating but giving interpretation along the way. So this source gives us a direct interpretation of the Tanakh by Jewish people before Jesus Christ and the influence of Christianity. Let's see how the Targums translate Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. And Adam knew Hava his wife, who had desired the angel and she conceived, and bore Cain. And she said, I have acquired a man, the angel of the Lord. According to this interpretation, Eve believed she was giving birth to the angel of the Lord. So the translators, knowing that Genesis 3.15 is the Messiah, also believed that the Messiah would be the angel of the Lord. Which we see in the entire Tanakh that the angel of the Lord does and says things that only God can say or do. We looked into the original Hebrew and grammar of Genesis 4.1 and we see that Eve believed she was giving birth to God. We also saw a Jewish interpretation of this verse that predate Jesus Christ that would believe the same thing. Are you convinced now or not? Let me know in the comments.